Well, look at my gray coming in. I am becoming distinguished and wise. So let's drink on it. <laughs> that would be a government alcohol consumption crime uh, because I'm 50 and being 50 is a crime. So says the government with worldwide support. Thank you. Um, so that would be a crime in the eyes of my worldwide hate groups with the government and psychology community because drinking is deemed unhealthy. Therefore, it is illegal, but only for Kevin Perlman, not for anyone else. But it's not really happening because there's a planet teasing Kevin 100,000 to a million times per day. So it's not a crime because you're allowed to anonymously tease someone 100,000 to a million times per day, exponentially growing since five years old. And if you're not healthy from it, then that's also a crime where you need to be mobilized into, migrated into a mental institution. Interesting. So no matter what the outcome is, you need to be moved into a mental institution. If you're successful in business and have lots of money, you're eccentric, you need to be migrated into a mental institution. If they stop you from making money, you need to be migrated into a mental institution. And if you drink more than one beer per year, you have no self-control and you need to be migrated into a mental institution. And if you have a bumper tap 40 years ago, you're a reckless driver and need to be migrated into a mental institution for reckless driving with lead officer Sean Dinsey and his child rapist Jew hate cult with my father and family. And if you smile at a girl, it could be an evil smile. So you need to be migrate into a mental institution for death threats. And if you say you have no right to put me in a mental institution and tell someone you need, you need your skull mentally bludgeoned in and you need to be killed. And it's not a crime because someone feels that you should be migrated into a mental institution. So therefore, According to someone's thought process with unlimited power and billions of dollars and planetary support to support child rapists, no matter what the outcome, you don't deserve to be on the planet starting at five years old because someone's label, label, you need to be, you're crazy, you're a crazy five-year-old, you need to be migrated into a mental institution for no reason or even if there were to be an argument, which there clearly is not at this point, because if I've said 100,000 times, what's this about? No answer, but you need to be migrated into a mental institution. Then what is it really about? Hate, rage, uh, abusive parents. I hate my five-year-old. I just don't want what I got. So let's execute him with government support, because remember I was born on Castle Creek Air Force Base in Merced. And horrible people like that should not drive cars or Corvettes or get into photography or build websites or transact SQL database programming or .NET programming or uh, JSON or AJAX programming or uh, build servers, whether they're Dell, servers, HP servers, Linux operating systems, Windows operating ratings, uh, operating systems. Um, should not get into 3D animation with Maya, 3D Studio, Houdini, Blender, they're all evil. Those people are not allowed to touch that. They should not be allowed in the car hobby uh, because a car could be a weapon. And a computer can be a weapon because because if you have ever touched a computer, you're a hacker, so you need to be hunted and killed. Um, and if you're a tested car, a car could be a weapon, so you need to be hunted and killed. And if you've ever gone to a coffee shop, you need to be hunted and killed because uh, those horrible 
coughaholics, those horrible, horrible coughaholics tearing up their intestines, um, their liver, tearing up their liver by that horrible evil coffee. And what is it really about? Hate, rage, and killing. And everything else is a lame justification for that type of sicko to get what they want. Because do you really care if I drive a Corvette, if I drive a Saturn, if I drive a Mazda, if I drive an Envoy, if I work out at a gym, if I build websites, if I'm very successful with my... Uh, website projects if I am not successful if you really think that anyone cares about my type of marketing versus whether no it's about hate rage jealousy killing five-year-olds that is the only thing it's ever been about you could ask my 10th grade English teacher mr. Quigley when he was telling me to punch Paul Schaefer and me saying no to try to make me look like a violent paranoid schizo you could ask Damon Regis when he was working with black girls sending them on the wrestling team, on the boys wrestling team with my coach John O and Brock Delp. You try to make it look like I hate black girls for some reason. Um, that's tenth grade, eleventh grade. You could you could ask Brian Weaver working on me in eighth grade while he's beating up Ryan Hirsch and Michael Block saying it's me. With my family, with the school system. Obviously, how do I know it's the school system? Well why would Mr. Quigley, tell me to punch Paul Schaefer. And me say no, and it didn't work, and they get angrier. And they get angrier and angrier and angrier and angrier and angrier, the more it doesn't work. Now I am 50, will be 51, who knows, in February. It has been nonstop, minute by minute, since five years old, exponentially growing. Let's do the math, let's add it up. What's this really about? It's about child rapists who hate five-year-olds who kill them. And it's about a warped, sick, demented brother who learns those family morals and values and thinks it's okay. And the older, then when I find out, it's about, I want to look like a good urologist and his wife, I want to look like a good politician running against Debbie Wasserman Schultz. So killing Kevin before any of this dirt on them comes out, which never would come out. Well, let me rephrase that. If I just thought my brother was a semi idiot when he was 16, it wouldn't come out. But finding out that my brother's hunting me to have me killed with my father with worldwide support, then it's going to come out no matter what. Because in their eyes, my kind, since five years old, does not have the right to live or breathe. And they do. And they have the right to kill people they don't like, throwing labels on them. Okay, that being said, why is everyone helping? That I cannot answer. But they all know they are, and they all know they don't want the truth coming out. So remember, uh, read the specifics about my life, the minute by minute, 100,000 to a million attacks per day, exponentially growing since five years old. Uh, the more they come after me, the more I say something, the more they try to cover up. But it's been the, the common denominator here is it hasn't stopped since five years old. And anyone that wants to try to make it about marketing or competing or this or that is a child rapist and a child rapist supporter, period. Now, if any of those people want to throw down based on a real legit argument that starts at five years old about the real situation, about the internet used as a weapon starting in, 99, in 1994 with my brother and the government and my family to have me killed, then let's talk about that. But to say, Kevin, I don't know you, hint, 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 I know you, that is reinforcing proof, reinforcing proof of the worldwide crime and murder operations to kill a five-year-old, which there's no shutting me up about. Just like the Holocaust did happen, Adolf Hitler did happen, slavery did happen, the Civil War did happen, and to walk up a Jew to a Jew like me and say the Holocaust didn't happen and I better kiss your ass, it's not going to happen. To walk up to me and say, Kevin, you're imagining all this and spinning your keys or whatever with the thousand of other similar tactics. 
is not going to happen, especially at the age 50 years old where this has been going on for 45 years. It just isn't going to happen. If you think you can defy physics, it's not going to happen. That being said, I'm going to drink my fucking beer. I'm going to eat this delish. Wait. This. This delish ramen. I'm going to make some comical jokes, which you say comedy is illegal and people don't tell jokes anymore or have sarcasm and that is a work crime where worldwide groups hunt people and kill them you're full of shit and you're a child rapist period remember that so go to kevinperlmantarget.com and start realizing that the truth is going to come out no matter what and the more the attacks ramp up to silence me the more I'm going to expose the truth and your only solution is to go out and buy a gun and blow my fucking brains out because you set this in motion with worldwide support and it's unacceptable. And you've created history and you've defined history, not me. I'm the victim, I'm the target. And the more you try to get out of it, the more you're going to reinforce the lie or the truth, the more you're going to reinforce the truth that someone fucked up with my father when I was on Castle Creek Air Force Base Merced, four years old, with those government resources, with those government resources, and there's no turning back. You set that in motion for 50 years, and the only thing that's gonna change in the chaos that you're creating worldwide, not me, you, is to tell the truth and put a stop to it.